the easiest biopsy there is, it's called an aspirate. We're gonna get an aspirate. That's true. Because it's on the ass. It's true. Okay. This is Riley, also known as boyfriend. <laughs> it's got a mass here, right on the anus which could be a cyst or it could be an infected something, but we're going to not take any chances. And I'm gonna go right into here and one, two, three, poke. Look at how bright he is. You try to get, try not to get any stuff up in the hub. You just want a needle's worth. And we go right onto here, one, two, three. Ooh, that's a good one. And then you just go right on top of each other. And so again, we just sort of lay it on there and oh, oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's really nice. That one looks nice. So not all vets do this. I like to look at them, one, to make sure that I have a good sample, um, and that it's a useful sample, and uh, two, because I think it's fun. So it's an interesting thing to look at. And so we'll look at it, and we'll see if we see what it is. And now I'm gonna stain it. This looks like peripheral blood to me, mostly. What is that? Just blood that you might get like in a vein or in a sore of some kind. So it yes, might fine. not be very diagnostic as far as if it's a tumor. So we'll look at the chunky one that I thought was terrible. And we'll see if it gives us more information. We got the results and it turns out that it is a uh, benign tumor. It's like a perianal gland adenoma which is a benign tumor that we can see in the anal area a lot of times. So we'll get some antibiotics, get it cleaned up, and remove it if it needs to be. If anybody tells you that they can tell you, oh, I know what that lump is without doing a biopsy, they're lying. They can guess, but it's just a guess until you get some cells. Poke. Almost done, almost done, almost done. Brilliant. Oh, good. Hardly anything, but that's all we need. See, even by the eye, it's not a big deal. So when your vet says, let's do a needle biopsy or a needle aspirate, just, it's easy, right? Good job.